Greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. And if you want to support the brand, you can also check my brand out at inspiredbydreams.shop. And that's dreams with three Z's. Okay, today I felt like doing a different kind of segment for you guys and just bring something to just bring awareness to people out there around the world that just been victims counter with just things that happen in our lives that we have no control over so this one story that i came across it brought me to tears and it's about a kid named jc and as i started to i seen one um video on it and i just started diving deeper and i looked up the story and it's just so sad that what the kids are going through in these times you can be a little more kinder on social media and just a little more responsible about the things that you post out there and i wanted to just give you an example and just have people and their stories be just put out there to a wider audience and as we go along with this we we'll realize that us as human beings we're all one and if we don't come together then we can never come to a point where love could actually overrule and and start pushing forward as human beings because the more we go out there with this destruction and this demonic energy the more it's destroying good families good homes and it's taking our loved ones from us so i just wanted to shed light and just have people up here that could tell their story and stories that i find that impact me and inspire me i wanted to bring to you guys so you guys can have a little understanding of why i'm here and why do i do the things i do because nowadays on social media just to get that good content out there it takes an arm and a, and a leg just to you know um just even get recommended we know with all this entertainment and all of this destruction and a lot of people just going back at each other sometimes that rules the algorithm and in these times i just want to you know get the people that want to see change in this world and want to see better for people and help people out i want to bring those people together so today's story is on jc and just be kind for jc let's get it are you home i'm not home Braden is okay I have my dad's phone number. You what? You have my dad's phone number? I don't. What's wrong? Jay Sean Shelf. What? Jay Sean Shelf. Where's your Where's your mom? She's at home with all the police right now. Oh my god, go inside, type in the code of 04 2022, our son JC took his life at 15. In March of 2022, JC came to his father and I and told us that he was gay. Over the next six months, we just treated JC like normal. Um, you know, we had conversations about him being gay and he was keeping it in the family and to his close friends. During JC's sophomore year of high school, he decided to come out to his peers because the topic of the day was sexuality for some reason. I mean, they're 15, right? So he told his peers his truth and 10 days later, JC was gone. This is why it's so important to be kind. Thank you for being here with me today. You know, this is the type of thing. This is, this is, this is, this is. In these times, people gotta understand that how many hurt people out there, how many victims are out there, and how many families are going through certain things, and people just take life for granted on an everyday basis. The bullying, the over-sexualization, and the, all this violence that's going on in these times have to understand that brings an energy to people that it's not it's this is more than what we think it is and us as human beings we have to more come together the destruction of the mind there's families out there that's hurting bad find yourself in some way just to think about what you say before you say it before you can go to take the destruction or route understand that you, there's a way you can piece things out and be more kind to people out there don't start just because you don't agree with what's how somebody is or how somebody's lifestyle is. You go out there and you split out this this opinion of yourself and and bully people because people what you might say to somebody yeah be, some people can take it and just because you can take your, certain things that people say about you not everybody can take 
your bad comments. Not everybody can take the bad things said about them and just swallow it like it's, it's nothing and go on with their day. Some people that thing really affects them. And when people are out there just saying anything on social media, it becomes bullying to the kids and the people that's looking onto this stuff. And, and, and they end up, a lot of kids in these times are, end up hurting themselves because they're misguided and misled. And because social media is a, it's a big thing. That's the reason why we've seen more laws being passed for kids when it comes to social media because it is affecting younger kids. The older you get, maybe you could deal with it some more but celebrities go through it too the bad comments for no reason and and people just talking about people and and their families and how they're raising their kids for no reason for no reason maybe if you have to me i feel like social media is in a space where anybody is just saying anything but if you have something that that's of a value that you can you can extend to somebody else's family Present it and, and say it right, but don't just go up here and just for the views, you're on here and talking about how people raise their family. If you see something wrong in somebody else's family that you can maybe correct, just say that. But if, if, you, if you're just pointing the finger at somebody with no solution out there, where does it lead us? As a culture, where does it lead us? So we have to understand out there that there's families out there hurting, no matter what race they are or what um, where they come from. We all as a human being on this earth, there's families out there that's going through trauma and there's families out there that they, they lost loved ones that can't, that hurt is staying, sticking with them. So I want people to remember that and just at the end of the day, be kind, of, be kind for JC. Until next time, it's your boy Mickey Made It. Peace. Like and share the video if you guys want to support the brand. My brand is a preppy streetwear brand and it's called Inspired by Dreams. And you can also um, check that out at inspiredbydreams.shop. Love you guys. Thanks for all my supporters out there. Make sure you like and share this video. And just be kind to people, man. Don't just go out there and just um, say anything because hurt people hurt people. But just remember, heal people, heal people. So until next time, it's your boy Mickey Made. It. Peace.